Salvador Dali, the artist you just saw with the really funny mustache, is a surrealist artist. He likes to create art that is inspired by dreams. In this image here, we see melting clocks. That's not something you normally see in your everyday life. One of my favorite paintings is the ship with the butterfly sails. I love the clouds and the movement in this work. Also, I would never actually see butterfly sails on a ship like this. His artwork was created and inspired by dreams. He would take thoughts from his mind that he had in dreams and he would put them down on canvases. Now this artwork here, you see two very long-legged elephants. This is impossible. Those long skinny legs couldn't hold up those heavy bodies. But we're going to make a wild and weird artwork like Salvador Dali too. And we're going to use these long skinny legs as our inspiration. So grab some paper and grab something to draw with and let's get started. All right. So I'm going to use my big white rectangle of paper and just a black pen. You can draw with anything that you have at home. And we're going to make some Salvador Dali style birds. So we're going to draw some crazy birds and then we're going to give them those really, really long legs like the elephants that you see in his painting, Les Elephants. He made this painting in 1948. All right, so I'm just drawing a crazy bird. I put some shapes together, and I'm even gonna give one of my birds a silly Salvador Dali mustache, just because I think his mustache is really funny. One time he gave a speech, and he was wearing scuba diving gear, and he couldn't hardly get the helmet off, and someone had to come and rescue him. He did lots of weird things and made lots of weird art. So let's get ready to do those long skinny legs. Look at that long skinny leg. I like to put some little lumps and bumps in there to show the joints or the knees. If you're worried about messing up, use a pencil. But I think because this artwork is weird and crazy that it's okay if you mess up a little bit. And I'm going to leave myself enough room to put more birds on my page too. And I love how the elephant's legs look a little bent. So I'm bending the legs on my bird a little as well. All right, I'm starting the body shape of another bird. I start with just a simple circle. And then I'm gonna put the head shape on my bird's body. So I just start with building my bird with basic shapes. triangles, circles, all the simple shapes that you learn about when you first come to kindergarten. Think about different things that you could do. If your birds are weird, they could even have more than two eyes. They can have four eyes. Maybe your bird has glasses. I'm just thinking carefully about what I want to do for each of my birds. You can let some shapes overlap other shapes like I, like I did here with the wing. And I'll probably color those in different colors too. Now for these legs, I'm just using a single line. It's weird, so my surrealist art is looking pretty good. It can't be too normal if it's surrealism. I'm starting on my third bird now. And I am going to make this one look as if he is coming toward us. His face is actually toward us. So I draw his triangle beak pointing down and then I add the head around that. So his beak can overlap his head. Now I'm just adding in some fun details. Going to make it look like there's a tail poking up back behind. Remember, weird art, very odd, melting clocks and butterfly sail ships. Surrealism can be based on dreams. You've probably had a dream before that was really, really weird. I've actually had a dream where I'm flapping my arms and as long as I'm flapping my arms, I can fly. And that's kind of weird because when I wake up, I wonder, was I really flapping my arms in the bed or was I just imagining that? 
adding in some different kinds of lines for details, some little bumpy lines on the wings. Each bird has its own little personality. And I have room for one more bird on my page. So I'm gonna come in and add that now. I like to make my birds face different directions so that there's some variety. I've never seen a bird with a square head. So this actually works for surrealism, definitely different. So just finish up drawing your last bird and then we're going to move on to adding color. You can add color with anything that you have at home. You can add color with crayons, colored pencils, watercolors, anything at all. I'm sure it will look excellent as long as you're coloring neatly. Don't do a sloppy job of coloring. I've seen people do this before. You can do an amazing job of drawing something and then ruin it with a terrible job of adding the color. So you need to take your time and do a good job on both of those pieces of your art, the color portion and the drawing portion. All right, now we are ready to come in and start adding our color. One more detail though. I like to make sure I have some details in my art. I'm adding some patterns and designs like this one here on the head. It almost looks like a hallway going back into the distance. That might be something you might have seen in a dream.